right let's hop in let's see the team that we're going to be playing tonight if you want to use the team check out all the details of it or use the rental or anything it's all in the description so you can check that out okay so this is the team that we'll be playing uh kyoga it is a carmine variant got leftovers on there i really like the idea of carmine kyoga so i wanted to kind of play around with an idea for it indeed we kind of need for terrain control it helps against rillaboom stuff as well the immediate threat anyway for kyoga but primarily there to help us set the trick room up with lunala who will set the Escavalier up, which is kind of the main max mount because you want the max steel spikes to boost the Kyogre, things like that. Shinotic, bit of an odd pick, but we've got it in there. We'll hopefully get some action out of it tonight. It makes sense. I'll explain it as we go. Um, but this is basically the team. Like I say, the poker paste down in the description if you want to check it out. We'll jump straight into it. First opponent, what do you got? Zash in. Calyrex. Not the best, but I mean, you look at the team, everything's pretty f speedy on my opponent's team. They've only got the Cinero that would be like low. It'll be all right in the Trick Room, but you know, I think we'll go our Trick Room mod here. And then we'll go Scavalier and we'll lock in with Kyogre as well. And we'll, we'll lock in quick. Okay, so we've got a couple of options here. I think without the Thunderous, we'd probably be able to kind of like wide guard Shadow Ball. But we're kind of probably going to have to eat an Astral Barrage. Yeah, we're not going to overthink this we'll just follow me because the thunderous could be a defiant variant i think they gotta try as hard as they can to stop the trick room the only problem is like max darkness coming out the spideff drop is going to be pretty nasty but the calyrex will go first right so they're going to hit the astral barrage first before they get that spideff drop so we should get the trick room up got to worry about in prison as well which is not going to be ideal if we see in prison trick room here it makes this game way harder but we've got to protect that Lunala here. So, oh, okay, Snarl is not actually too bad. It really isn't too bad at all. Dart, how are you doing, my friend? How are you doing? Good to see you. Thanks for hopping in, join us tonight. DK Trading, how are you doing as well, my friend? Okay, getting rid of that Psychic Terrain. That's fine, that's fine. Nice to see you again live. It is good to be back, mate. It's been, I looked before I came on live, it's been like two months. I can't believe it. Feels like it's been forever, honestly, but it's nice to be back. Nice to be finally back. Okay, so. Hmm. The sensible option, the sensible option is always going to be going after the Thunderous here, but I always feel a bit inclined, like I don't want to leave a Calyrex alone. Cause it's gonna it's gonna protect i would imagine but we could we could steal spike here oh is it gonna it's gonna it's gonna we're gonna lock in and go for it we're gonna go for it <laughs> we're gonna go for it dk i was wondering when you were coming back a uh, great job casting at eu i see thank you so much mate and it is nice to be back the main reason for the delay was really like we moved we had to move into tasha's parents for like two weeks so we moved out of ours Moving into Tasha's parents, I didn't have anywhere to set up my gear or anything like that, which made it a little bit more difficult. Um, and then we moved into this place and then we had like three weeks wait. It was the earliest we could get the internet installed. So I had like no internet for three weeks uh, once we moved in. Uh, at least we get rid of the Calyrex here and we get this the defense boost. So that's, that's decent and we've still got... Um, I don't know if the defense boost will allow Lunala to kind of survive, but it's still all right. We've got a trick room up. We're kind of sitting in a decent ish position. Uh, yeah, so basically three weeks to get the internet set up and then EUIC, literally we got the internet installed on Wednesday and then I had to fly out to EUIC on the Thursday morning, like super early. So there was like not even a single chance of me getting a stream in before I left for EUIC and then obviously came back from EUIC. I had to recover for a few days because I was pretty tired. Um, and then here we are. So I was like, I'm pleased to be back. It's nice. So I should be able to kind of get back into a bit more of a routine now, which would be, which would be super nice to still speak. This guy's not protecting at all. So it makes me want to kind of max quake into the Zashian just to kind of double up into that. But like, are we going to get the return? <clears throat> There's too many turns of Trick Room left at the minute as well. There's like three turns. I mean, we can steal Spike and we could potentially... Um, 
Yeah, we can steal Spike. I think we steal Spike Thunderous and we'll go for the Meteor Beam as well into Thunderous. I don't think this will knock out the Thunderous, but we should get some nice damage. Okay, turn two cancellation, turn three cancellation. There we go. We got the win to kick us off with. That is a good sign this evening. So here we go. What we got up next? Okay, call team. Nice, Vino. Another Zash and Calyrex. Okay. Flavor of the month. Uh, no, we're not going you. Kyogre, you need to stay in the back. Uh, Scavalier here or oh, Shenotic. Sleep would be good. No, let's lock in. Let's go with Scavalier. Nicola, how are you doing, my friend? Congratulations on your cast in Frankfurt. Thank you so much, mate. Uh, where was your pin during the cast? Oh, I completely like packing last minute. And like with the move and everything, I forgot to pack any pins, any pins at all. And I got to the event and I did ask on the Friday, can't remember who I asked. And then the pin kind of thing just fell completely through. So it was like a bit, yeah, it wasn't good. So we're going to have to get put to sleep here. Yeah, we, we can't, we can't do that. Because there's one option where we could wide guard, take the Astral Barrage and um, Shadow Ball. But they're going to be Sash, and then it, it kind of leaves Lunala sleeping, and then we're kind of denied a trick. We need to, we need to get a trick room up against this. We need to. So that's a story about. Ooh, oh dear, what are we seeing? What's Maxin? Is this the Venusaur? I think it is. Uh, yeah. So that's a story about the pins. The pins I completely forgot about, which I was very sad about because I have a massive collection of pins as well from collecting like the uh, collection boxes. Um, from the TCG and stuff like that, so it's a bit sad about that. But yes, I'm pleased to like, you're the only person that's mentioned that, so I'm pleased someone noticed that I didn't have one on, but I definitely let the team down. There's lots of Snarls coming out. I prefer the Snarl to the Barrage. The Barrage leaves us with very little health. You see Slicer, you plan on playing Legends Arceus? Yes, we definitely will be. I think later this week. Avatar, how are you doing? Yeah, it was great seeing you in cast at the USC. The red suit was fresh. Thank you so much. You know, the red suit. I told everyone this as well. I went to get my suits out <clears throat> before the event and I was like, yeah, it'll be all right. I'll, uh, I'll get my old suits out. And I put like that much weight on and like, a, yeah, like my suits didn't fit. I was like, oh my God, well, I'm going to have to do something to get like around uh, this terrible suit situation. Okay, let's, why God, let's, um, yeah, we'll sack, we'll sack DD. And we'll try and break a sash on. Mm. We are minus one. Yeah, let's just try and get some damage onto the field and break that sash on potential sash on Calyrex. Okay. Let's see what's coming in. The toys. The white god is a waste. It is a waste. It is a waste. Okay, Naomi, how are you doing, Bikram? How are you and RT? I hope you're all doing good. Thanks so much, everyone, for hopping into the uh, the stream tonight. Lunala dropped. Okay, this doesn't leave us many good options here. Okay. Okay, this is a bad, bad start. Okay. It's all down to Scavalier. I'll tell you, I've been good, my friend. Hectic over the last few weeks, but very good, my friend. And uh, pleased to be in now and kind of able to kind of schedule the channel and, and start doing content again, because I have missed it. The Blastoise is the annoying thing. We could double the Venu. There's an Ice Beam. Am that going to be enough? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know whether like Calm Mind is the better idea. I don't know. We've not got many options though, we don't put ourselves in the best of spots right now. Nicholas, I got a shiny lad yesterday in Pokemon Go, nice. I've been playing a lot of Go actually recently. After AUIC, I was like, oh, the, the, I really loved the uh, the tournament for Pokemon Go. I thought it was awesome um, and it's like, it spurred me on to play a little bit more. So I've been playing a bit. That's not the best. That is not the best. Here comes the yawn. Where are you yawning into blasters? Oh, water spout. Water spout. Okay. Interesting. Um, could we still do something if we 
can't mind. I don't know if we can, you know. The Venu is done with its turns though. And Forbes, how are you doing? Hope oh, you're good, my friend. Witness policy and cinema, we are in a very tough spot, mate. Can we get ourselves out of this? They are the max quick. I mean, they got no flyers, got no resist for it. Um, oh, how many turns of trick room have we got left? Two, not enough. Mm, okay, I think we have to call mind. Okay, let's see. Let's see if this, we can maybe, may, I don't think so. I don't think we're gonna be able to do anything here. And that gets rid of that. I love the trick room teams. I've made one centered around Delmise. It's not for good. Delmise is an awesome Pokemon though, mate. What's the six that you've got with Delmise RT? DK Trading, good to see you using this Cavalier. It's so good. It is so, it's been so good. I've really enjoyed using it. It was primarily because like I really wanted like obviously with Carmine Kyogre, you kind of lack a little bit on the defensive side, so you want that you need a steel type to kind of um come in and, and be able to, to kind of help bolster those defenses a bit. Um, so that was primarily the, the thing why I, I went to Scavalier because it's it's so good, it's got overcourt, so you don't really care about like spore abuse and trick room and things like that. So that was kind of one of the main reasons why I was like, yeah, we'll go with it, we'll give it a go. Um, and it's been working super well. Now they know the max quakes coming out. We could steel spike and we could just origin pulse as well. This is the last turn of trick room. Um, we kind of need to remove the... <clears throat> there's no way there's Ash in attacks here. There's no way there's Ash in attacks. Problem is the Ogre's just got not enough health. Okay, well, we'll, we'll do this. Um... Yeah, well, Origin Pulse as well, just in case that's Ash and does decide to not protect. Yeah, okay. Hopefully we can get rid of the Blastoise here and avoid any sort of damage. If they Water Spout here again, we're all right. Just hit, just hit, just hit. Of course. <laughs> I talked it. I literally talked it into existence. Okay. Um, is that Scarf Blastoise, do you think? Can we survive? Killmaster, thank you so much for the five months member, my friend. Thank you so much. And uh, long time no see. Good luck. Great to have you in the stream as always, mate. And uh, hope you are doing great. Um, if that is Scarf Blastoise, we might be able to do something here. We might be able to. Can we take a Sacred Sword at this stage, though? Because they have to Sacred Sword, I think. Oh no, we've not got the defense boost, so we need to protect here. Okay. Yeah, we'll protect this turn, get a little bit more health back. If they got Play Rough, it changes things slightly. Okay, the helping hand. They're going into the Kyogre, I think. I think they have to go into the Ogre. It just will give us a little bit of a free shot. But this isn't going to knock out. So, I mean, they just get us to the next turn. So it comes down to whether Escavalier can beat the um, the Calyrex. There's no way we take a helping hand, uh, Sacred Sword. Uh, we could go for a double protect. Get the double, we probably win. If we get the double, we win, I think, because the Calyrex can't beat the Yoga. And then... Uh, yeah, so if we get the double, we'll win. We get it! We get it! We ask for it! We get it! Oh, you're gonna feel bad for my opponent, but we take those all day long. <clears throat> and there's a drill run. Drill run, boy. From what looked like a pretty bad position, we're not doing too bad. 
I think the the Blastoise, if it had Yawn, I think changes the whole dynamic of the game, though. So we got pretty fortunate. Um, but Atomen, how are you doing? I hope you hope you're well, and uh, great to see you on the stream tonight. Okay, Master, yeah, just wrapping up the semester of some finals and some holiday. Nice. One more year and finally graduate for my bachelor's, mate. That's so awesome to hear. I bet you can't wait for the holidays to begin. Right. What are we? What are we? What are we? Oh, we, we can take. We can take these. We can take this. Let's just iron ahead this thing and um, pray that our pulse hits. Pray it hits. Come on. Plus. We should take it with plus two special defense. We got a soul fest on the Escavalier with plus. Oh, oh. <laughs> there's no. And we hit. There's no break in this Escavalier and Olga. Too good. Too good. The Iron Head for the victory. Bye bye, Blastoise. Okay. <clears throat> oh. You can understand it, can't you? Can we understand it? Maybe. <laughs> you know where the salt's coming from, it's all right. The double protect kind of nicked it for us, so. Thank you so much again, friends. Have a great rest of the evening, and I'll, I'll speak to you all again very soon. So, like I say, have a good night, good day, whatever time it is, wherever you are all around this planet and I'll uh, I'll catch you all again very soon for uh, some more content on the, the channel. It's just nice to be finally back and uh, gonna be able to kind of get back into the swing of things and start doing videos on the channel and then doing like other things as well. So it'll be really cool. So I cannot say thank you enough. Have a great evening friends and I will see you all hopefully tomorrow night on tomorrow night's stream. So hope to see you there. If not, I will see you hopefully again very soon, but Tomorrow night, 7.30, we'll be kicking off. Take care, friends. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.